over here on the land between the moat and the church ruins are three wooden posts which were formerly groins in the sea. These three pieces of wood spent 150 years in the ocean and if you look closely you can see where stones have been pushed into the wood by the waves over the years. The groins come from Pevensey Bay and nearby in Shoreham is an artist, Louise V. Durham, who has made use of these ancient pieces of wood. She planes them to a smooth surface and inserts stained glass. And I asked her to do a piece for us representing from left to right, landscape, skyscape and seascape of Romney Marsh. When the sun is shining through the glass, it casts light from these bits of colour onto the grass stretching out towards the church and it's very beautiful. And the wooden posts themselves are somewhat reminiscent of gravestones in a churchyard. This sculpture I have placed for the Quakers, another group like the humanists that are morally advanced in their thought and in their concern for humanity. The Quakers in particular were leaders in ethical business, if you think of the Cadburys and the Fries, and also they were pacifists during the war.